So um, let me ask you this. I'm going to name um, a few people, and um, I want you to uh, give me the first thing that comes to your mind when, when you hear about it. We've watched you, by the way, grow up, Janet. How does it feel, you know, like people like me, we feel like we know you, but we really don't know you. We've watched you grow up. Um, and we feel like we know you. Does it kind of like take you back when people actually respond to you like they actually know who you are? Everybody does that with me. Either mm-hmm. I'm their little sister or, you know, a member in the, of the family or their daughter of because I, I've been in the game so for so long and, and, and they've watched me, like you said, grow up. Okay, so, so I don't mind it some at all. Of, some of this stuff will be blast from your past. Jackson 5, first thing that comes to your mind. The, the Saturday morning cartoons. Wow. So you don't think, oh, my brothers. You just think about their cartoons. Yeah. That is so cool. Okay. Good times. <laughs> um, <laughs> missing. Uh, hmm. This is kind of weird, even though I enjoyed being on the show, but I really missed my brother, Mike, at that point, because we were very, very close. And that was the first time I was separated from my family. And uh, he went off to do the Wiz here in New York, and I stayed in L.A. So the first hiatus we got... I said, Mother, we got two weeks off. I said, Mother, I want to go to New York and visit Mike. So we did. Okay. So while you were but while you were recording Good Times, you you were just missing him. Yes. So that, that reminds me of that. And and great times, I should say, being on Good Times. What about different strokes? Fun. Just fun. Being with Dana and Todd and, and Gary, it was a lot of fun. It, kids my age, um, we we enjoyed one another. We had a good time. It's really sad that, you know, Dana passed away. Yes. And, um, child stars, so many times you hear tragic stories. You, you've you been able to uh, get past that, although you've been a star since you were a kid. Um, I mean, you've gone through hard times. Like, we all go through hard times, you know what I'm saying? Such is life. Right. But you haven't gone the way of so many of the child stars um, where your life it hasn't fallen apart, you know? It, it was really sad to hear about her passing away. It was very, very sad. Very. De- she was such a sweet girl. Such a sweet girl. But she, she had a tough... A tough life, and and I think that played a great part in it all. Yeah, they actually just did a, a Different Strokes movie, you know, yeah, showing and, us behind and the being screen. adopted and, and all. I think it was just really tough for her. Yeah. Okay. What about Fame? A lot of people don't remember you were actually on the yeah. TV show Fame. Yeah. N- not not good memories. Wow. <laughs> I, I wasn't very happy on that show. Wow. And can you go into why? I, you know, I just I did it for my father. Um, I didn't want to do it. I wanted to go to college and study business law. And uh, I, I just, I didn't want to be on that show. The kids were great. They were sweet to me, very loving. But it's just, I tried my hardest to get fired. Wow. <laughs> they wouldn't fire me. The producers kept coming to me and giving me these talks. And I, I wanted them to fire me. So I asked to be let out of my contract. And they said yes. And that's when I decided to do the Control album. Okay. I was going to give singing one more shot, but do it the way that I wanted. And to. not how your dad wanted. Yes. Okay. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Um, great, great, great segue into that. My dads. Those are like my two dads. They're, they're family for me. Okay. Tupac Shakur. I don't know if you know, um, but tomorrow is uh, the 10th anniversary of Tupac's death. I cannot believe it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years. I he can, died 10 years mm, ago in mm-hmm. Vegas. Um, come tomorrow. What are your first thoughts? Because you worked on Poetic Justice with him. What are your first thoughts when it comes to Tupac? Uh, very privileged to have the... the, the uh, the, the opportunity to to work with him to get to know him as a person and to see a completely different side than what most people know of him which was very loving and giving and, and fun and he was very jolly f- full of laughter and liked to kid around and he was a lot of fun to be around wow. joked a lot okay cool and um, Eddie Murphy you worked with him on yes. Eddie Professor Eddie yes. Murphy um Silly, just silly. He's 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 crazy. One of my one of my very good friends is one of his best friends, and I'll be on the Johnny phone. Gill. Johnny yes, Gill. Okay, uh-huh. yes, Johnny, and I'll be on the phone talking to Johnny, and Eddie will be in the background cracking jokes about me while I'm on the phone, and Johnny's laughing, and I can hear it, and he's we're going back and forth through Johnny. Eddie's just he's incredibly talented. He's very funny. Do you have any plans for any movies? I know you were going to do one, which is why you had gained the weight for the movie, but that didn't work out because it scheduling. Right. Any other movie plans? Um, as of this very moment, no. I've got a few scripts that I still yet to read, and we'll see. I mean, it's it's really all about timing. I, I got a script 
just a few weeks ago, and it starts next month, and the timing is, is awful, and I love the character, unfortunately, but I have to finish promoting the record. So. Were you heartbroken when uh, Halle Berry did the Dorothy Dandridge story? Because I know it was always your dream to do a movie yes, about Dorothy it Dandridge. Yes, and I actually mentioned it several times. Um, uh, yeah, I was. I actually was heartbroken, but I thought she did a wonderful job, and I was also... At the same time, though, happy that Dorothy's story got was told, so that that meant a lot to me. Yeah, because it's important that she didn't, uh, that we didn't forget her. It's yes, important. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you know, I got to ask you, Jermaine Dupri. First thing that comes to your mind with <laughs> that's my baby. I, that's that's my baby. I'm looking at this cover of FHM magazine that you're on, Janet. Wow, mm-hmm. <laughs> the men are going crazy over this. You have a, um, actually a belly ring that says JDs. Like, mm-hmm. This belongs to JD, to Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> How did you guys actually meet? I know in the, being in the music industry, you, you run into people all the time. How did you guys actually get to the point where you decided, hey, I want to be with this person in, in that romantic way? Well, we first met on the Rhythm Nation tour in 91. He came to the state, the show, uh, backstage in the dressing room. But we, we really started uh, our friendship when he did the remix to Someone to Call My Lover. That's That's pretty ironic when I think about that. And the friendship just turned into Mm -hmm. romantic. Mm -hmm. Well, Janet, it's such an honor to sit here and talk to you. Um, You really um, are an awesome person. You're a legend. I don't know if you feel that way about yourself, but you really are. You've been around forever and uh, still going strong. And I wish you so much luck with uh, this new CD. Thank you so much. I hope it sells a gazillion copies. Anything you want to say to the Z100 listeners, New York City, New Jersey, Connecticut, Long Island, in, in closing. Thank you for the love. And the support, and it's it's much appreciated. Janet you Jackson, much. you guys, pick up the CD. It comes out September 26th. It's called 20YO. Janet, thank you for stopping by Thanks Z100. Thanks so much, Shelly, for having me. You're so very welcome. All right, let's get back into the music. It's Evanescence. Call me when you're sober. It's on Z100. Don't cry to 